welcome to the channel. I am a channeling psychic medium and I have the uncanny ability to tap in to someone's subconscious mind and read their thoughts. The subconscious mind of Kamala Harris. This reading will be in her words, not my words. I have no, nothing to gain either way. All right, this is a pure, neutral reading for Kamala Harris. Let's see what she has to say. Let's see. Spirit, source, universal energy. Kamala Harris, spirit, please connect me with Kamala Harris. I want to know how Kamala thinks, how she feels, what her intentions are, and most importantly, Spirit, I want to know what's going on behind the scenes that she doesn't talk about. What is happening in Kamala's subconscious mind? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Kamala. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. How does she think? How does she feel? What are her intentions? Ooh, right there. All right, let's do it, you guys. All right, all right, all right. Kamala Harris, okay? In her own words, not in my words, okay? This is not my thoughts, my feelings, or my opinions. This is what happens when I channel someone. They actually speak to me, okay? All right, so the Ten of Wands, burden and struggle, okay? Burden, struggle, burden, struggle to the Princess of Swords, all talk, no action, and undelivered promises, okay? So what she's saying here is that um, she understands the burden and the struggle, and it is her motivation, actually, the burden and the struggle of life is her motivation, but she finds herself saddled, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, right? The Princess of Swords in reverse. She finds herself saddled with a burden that she did not create, okay? To the world. The world is the end of a cycle. Um, the A new cycle, a new vision, right? She wants to close the old chapter of the presidency and begin a new chapter. She wants to prove herself because she finds herself saddled with an administration that, in her opinion, is kind of weights around her ankles a little bit, okay? So her ideas of what the new world is going to look like, right? The Six of Swords, this is leaving behind the baggage, okay? So what she's saying here is my vision of the new world um, what the world, what, what the United States would look like under my leadership is very, very different than the administration that I'm in right now, okay? She wants people to understand that the vice president is an understudy for the president, just like you have in a play, right? You have the main character and then you have the understudy. The understudy's job is to study that role in case something happens to that actor and the understudy can step in right where the actor leaves off and carry on as if they were them. That was her job. Not my words, her words. This is my job. Vice President isn't elected to make policy. The vice president is elected to step in when the president dies. So she feels seven of wands, very defensive that, that, that people look eight of pentacles in reverse unmet expectations. She feels very defensive that the unmet expectations of the American people somehow um, is reflected on her when, in fact, um, she was really doing her job. She was the understudy for the president. Hmm. Okay. To the five of wands in reverse. Five of wands in reverse is the avoidance of responsibility and justice in reverse says it's an injustice. What is that? What is she saying? The queen of wands in reverse 
the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, what she is saying, Queen of Wands in reverse, is that she had absolutely no control, King of Pentacles, of the person who is in power now, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. And quite honestly, she doesn't think that he did a very good job. Sorry to say, but that's what she says here. She thinks that he didn't do very good of a job. And now she is saddled with the remnants of his bad job. But she has a whole agenda, policies, and beliefs of her own that are not necessarily a part of the Biden administration. And that's her big frustration. She feels boxed in. She feels boxed in. To the Ace of Wands in reverse, right? The Ace of Wands in reverse is her power. She didn't have the kind of power that everybody seems to think that she should have. Maybe we should all go back and read the Constitution or something, but her job is not to co-rule. Her job is to be the support to step in to rule. Okay, to the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is this is her in knowing that in her power, in her strength, that she is capable, willing, and perfectly able to lead this country out of despair and into prosperity. Okay, the Emperor, the Emperor to the Hermit in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. The Hermit in reverse is withdrawal, isolation. The Emperor talks about President Biden and the Two of Swords in reverse is crossroads, okay? So ever since President Biden withdrew from basically pretty much everything <laughs> ever since he withdrew from all of that she has been at a very very serious crossroads because three of wands um foresight right um two of swords in reverse she has been trying to gain her, she's trying to get under control her mental e equilibrium, okay? Um, I think this all happened fast for her, and she wasn't as prepared as she feels like she could have been. Three of Wands, some foresight. Foresight for the future. In the center of her reading, she has foresight to the Eight of Pentacles, right? Working, engaging, building. Um, when this election comes to her, she will take it and build and build and build with it to the wheel of fortune, a turning point. She will, in her words, she will change the course of this country and it's not going to be a duplication of her current administration. And the turning point will be when the people can see what kind of a good leader that she truly is. King of Swords in reverse. Um, I do believe that this represents um, Donald Trump, okay? She very, 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 very much wants you to understand that he is detrimental, intellectually detrimental to this country with the three of wands in reverse. Um, three of wands in reverse is a lack of foresight, right? He, he, you, you guys don't see what this person is going to do to our country. I want to restore the 10 of cups. I want to restore the 10 of cups, the ace of swords. I have ideas. I have plans. The star, Renewal, path, purpose. I have ideas. I have plans. 
the Ace of Swords, but I need you to see them too. I need you to see them too. To the Prince of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. The perpetuation of anxiety, Four of Pentacles in reverse, imbalanced, um, um, self-protection, finances, okay? The idea that the American people are going through what they are going through right now with the economy and the price of the cost of living just existing, okay? And for those of you who are not in the United States, um, things are off the hook expensive. It just like happened overnight. Things are off the hook freaking expensive. Some people say it's Trump's fault. Some people say it's Biden's fault. And it doesn't matter because it is what it is and it sucks, okay? So, just so you know, anxiety, despair about the instability of the economy, justice, and she wants to fix that. She wants to fix that in a big way, the Four of Pentacles. She wants to rebuild stability in this country to the strength card. She wants to strengthen this country, and she feels like she has the courage and the strength to be the one to do it. She, she very much believes in her ideologies she very much believes that that peace and comfort and prosperity can be restored to this country through her the prince of swords um, this is um, communication it's inspired action mental action the three of pentacles teamwork and collaboration but she needs us she needs you guys she needs us to have teamwork, collaboration, and vote to get her in office. Four of Cups in reverse, emotionally apathetic. Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past, right? She doesn't want you to think of her as, she doesn't want you to be emotionally apathetic to her cause because of where she came from being the Biden administration. Remember up here, she was not in agreement with a lot of things that went down, but you know, it is what it is. The Ace of Cups, there's renewal. Renewal, we can have renewal. We can have love again. The Eight of Cups, walking away from something. The Four of Cups in reverse, emotional apathy. The Four of Swords in reverse, mentally restless to the lovers. This is us judging her from her current position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Judgment in reverse. Bad decisions, self-doubt. Um, she doesn't want the people to make a bad decision and not put her in office because they doubt where she came from. The sun, happiness, success, vitality. Um, see very clearly that I have my own ideas. I have good ideas. I have ideas that are going to change the way that people live. Seven of Wands in reverse, overwhelmed. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest. This kills her. It really does. The struggle of the average American person is something that this person is extremely passionate about. She is extremely sincere and passionate about alleviating the struggle for the average person. It's all over these cards. Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. Nine of Wands in reverse to the Three of Cups, right? Instead of being overwhelmed and so burnt out that you can't fight, there's going to be joy and celebration coming together and saying, whew, we made it through. <laughs> to the Two of Pentacles, hey, to the Two of Pentacles. Balancing out the financial status of your average American is extremely important to her. Eight of Wands in reverse, but she can't do it. The alchemist, un unless, unless we manifest it. And she needs us to manifest it very, very urgently over this reading. To the Prince of Cups, she promises Four of Wands, health and safety and stability and happiness. To the Princess of Cups, this is her message to us. The tower in reverse, let's avert disaster. 
Let's avert disaster. Let's, let's first of all, let's transform the disaster and let's avert another disaster. Death in reverse. Let's transform from the inside, from the inside out to the king of wands let's avert the disaster let's transform the inside out the king of wands is trump and what she's saying is avert the disaster of putting this guy in office and she also feels very passionately about that she feels very passionately that this person is going to destroy our country with that king of swords in reverse right there right okay and the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, right? We can't, we can't let this guy in office, she says. The empress in reverse. Uh, this is um, codependency. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. The devil in reverse, releasing, limiting beliefs. Hold on. To the moon, coming to terms, seeing clearly, um, struggling internally. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Hierophant. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay. All right, so the Empress in reverse. This is her, right? Because remember, we had the Emperor right here, right? This is Biden, okay? The Empress in reverse is codependent. And that's what she's trying to get you to understand is that she had no power, really. Not, not really, right? She had to do what he wanted to do and she had to do it the way that he wanted it done. And they, the way that she's feeling in this whole reading here, I don't think he really took much into consideration besides what he thought was the right way to go about doing things, and maybe especially not from her for some reason. So the Empress in reverse, codependent, okay? All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Not much that she could do. To the devil in reverse, she wants everyone to release their limiting beliefs about her. To the moon right? Because she knows that everybody is struggling. She knows that of all the people that want her to be in office, half of those people are concerned that she will be a repeat of the Biden administration. And if half of those people are on the fence, then that jeopardizes her chances of getting um, into office, right? And that's that struggle of that moon card right there. The six of pentacles in reverse. This is, this is the opposite of giving and receiving and sharing and prosperity. This is not having enough. This is, this, she thinks that the American people who are struggling financially right now, and it's a lot of us, Okay, the American people who are struggling financially right now, she's afraid that they won't vote for her because they think that she's a redo of the last four years that they've already had. And look, the Hierophant, she's not. She says, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I have my own understanding of things. I am committed, 100% committed to making this country habitable again, happy again, joyful, community, people. Her heart is very much into that. Very, very much into that. Yeah. Look, strength in reverse because we're weak right now. We're weak. We're weak. The Ten of Swords, we have a defeatist mentality. Temperance in reverse. I'm completely upside down about the state of our country. He, she, not me, she, right? The two of cups. And if you will have union with me, if I can have union with you, we can change the trajectory of everything to the seven of pentacles in reverse. But if we keep doing it the way that we've always done it, we're going to continue to get it the way that we've always gotten it. And she has ideas and she has plans and she's extremely inspired. Um, and she's carrying a heavy burden of an, of an administration that she didn't necessarily share the core values with. Interesting. There you go. That's what Kamala has to say. I hope you all enjoyed that. Namaste.